Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. So in the previous video we worked the create and display posts. In this video now I want to edit and delete the post. So for the delete I'm going to add a button and we can do the same thing for the edit also but I'm going to add the button for delete and for edit I'm going to use this uh, raw click so when we click to the raw right now it just displayed the first the title but I'm going to use that to edit, so I'm going to show you both ways. Okay, so if I open the Mary UI table, you can see here, you can use any dollar sign wire method on the row click. So here we have the row click, and we can use any dollar sign wire method. So let's start and work with that. I'm going to open first the post dash index. And here we have the alert event detail title. So when we click here, I want to open the model. And also let's open the post index. Here we have this post model defaults. What I want to do is to create a method. Uh, I'm going to name it edit. And this is going to receive the ID, so the assign ID. And then let's say uh, sign post to be able with post find and then instead of this form title because we need to use the form as we can see on the form here we use the form title from slug and so on so we need to use that form instead of saying something like this I'm going to open the form post form and create a method here and also let's create a property for the post and I'm going to inject the post model so let's say post model and this is going to be optional because uh, if we are on create mode so when we create we don't need the post and then down there let's create a method I'm going to name it as set post which is going to receive a post there and what we are going to do is uh, let's leave it like this this post to be able with post and this title post title, this slugs, post slug and content, post content okay with that now so we created the set post on the post index we get the post and we can call that so we can say this form set post pass the post and also we need to open the model, so this post model to be true. And let's see, I come here and refresh, uh, just make sure on this raw click, we need to call that method. So dollar sign wire dot edit, and we need to add here the post ID, not raw, but if I just go to post index so here we have the ID and just say die and dump the ID let's say what we got, when you refresh nothing because I think we have error so let's go and say not raw but dollar sign event dot detail dot ID and refresh click here, now we have the ID 1 click to this one, we have the ID 3 ok, let's go back to post index and instead of die and dump leave this and refresh again open yeah, we have first post open this one, second post open this one and test post, ok but now if I open the model with this button we have the data here which we don't like that for that what I want to do is to create a method to open the model so here I'm going to create a method I'm going to name it a show model and this what it's going to do is just to say this post model to be true and we want to clean the the form title and so on for that 
we can call and maybe call up here this dollar sign this for reset and then show the model so again refresh open the model with the first post click outside and if i open now yeah we have the same thing because we need to call the show model on the this button not dollar sign wire post model to be true so let's call the show model instead and now refresh again open this one okay click outside and if i open now the model to create a new post we have empty title slug and the content okay good but now if i want to edit we have here a save button which this save button is uh, type submit and here we have the form we have wire submit save which is going to trigger this save and this is going to say this form store but we want to update that for this what i'm going to do i'm going to create a new state here let's copy and paste that and say just uh, boolean to be edit mode and by default it's going to be false but when we open this edit and we have a i say post this post then set the post and then i'm going to say this edit mode to true and then when we call the save if this is true we are going to we need to create a new method here to update the post so let's just clean this a little bit and create a new method update and let's leave it like this so first we call the, this validate and let's and, and then post update title slug and the content and reset very good so with that we can check here if and if this edit mode is true we're going to say this form update to update that and also we need to say edit mode to false else this form store and let's save that let's come here and refresh so let's come to this test add a new t save now as you can see here we have t and just let's say just updated updated and also updated here save we have updated updated and updated down there and just let me add another one here okay if i open we have a clean very good now let's work with the delete so if i open the table here and scroll down we have so you can read more but i'm just going to scroll down when we have an example here for the special action slot and we have an example to delete the user so let's copy this and delete the post so inside the post index when we have a table at the end i'm going to add the scope actions just here we're going to inject the post instead of the user and also delete the post passing the post id we don't have this delete we're going to create that so let's go to post index we have a save and edit methods and let's create one more for the delete delete passing the id and i'm going to leave it like this so post find the id delete and let's save that and let's open the yeah maybe i forget to add the mary prefix here and let's save that refresh here we have the button just uh, let me add another class here btn i think we have 
primary secondary access info warning error. Okay, yeah, like this. Refresh and let's delete this one. Delete, okay, delete this one, good. This one, and if I hard refresh, good. And let's open and create new one, so second post. It's going to be second post like this, something here, and let's save. We created a second post and we can edit the second post also. So we can say updated. Let's save and works correct. Okay, friends, that's it all about this video, how to edit and delete using the Mary UI and using the same model. Now, if you like such a video, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.